Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another server admin tutorial or bucket plugin tutorial or spigot, I guess now. If you're joining for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button because I do these every Friday. If you have a suggestion of one you'd like me to do, feel free to comment that in the jibbles below. That would be the comment section for you new people. Pretty much anything below the video is the jibbles. So uh, looking forward to seeing some of those. Feel free to suggest it. I'll give you a shout out when I get to it. Although I have the next few weeks booked out, as you can see um, on the screen. This side, maybe? I don't know. So anyway, shout out to these guys. Uh, Moshi Monster 86 King CP Matt plays MC. Those three people have suggested quick sell, and that's what we're hitting this week. And then you guys voted on it as you did a few weeks ago. This is made by Mr. Cookie Slime, and this is pretty much essential for an OP prison server. It allows uh, players to sell all the items in their inventory really quickly and easily um, without having to go look for you know admin shop signs and, and all that stuff. Now, of course. Requires a permissions plugin, requires an economy plugin, which probably using essentials, and then it requires Vault. Make sure all of those are up to date. If you're running on 1.8, which I hope you guys are because everything's updated to that, essentials, there will be a link in the jibbles for uh, a link to 1.8 essentials, and then make sure that you're running 1.53, I think is the latest Vault. And then PEX uh, only works on 1.8 or at least the latest versions work on 1.8. So that's how it goes. Now, when you start your server for the first time, you're going to see a bunch of errors. Basically, what it's doing is it's downloading another required plugin that um, is not out there. It's called CS Core Lib, and this is really nice that the author makes this automatic, that it automatically downloads it. So you're going to have to start your server twice before you can start using this plugin. Now, it does support backplat backpacks it supports auto sell from pre prison utils as well and then it also provides uh, hooks into easy rank light which has that scoreboard on the right hand side you can then use uh, percent side qs hyphen multiplier or percent side qs hyphen time left percent sign which then you can use that in the scoreboard with easy rank lights which is super cool because that's a great rank up plugin so anyway, what this does is it adds a cell command um, or the cell sign. So then it opens up an inventory. People put their items in there and then it automatically sells their items, gives them the money for it, which is really cool. Um, I could show you guys that. So basically you do sell and then we'll just, we'll just put half the stack in there. Uh, and this menu item is configured. Uh, it's off by default. I'll show you guys how to do that in the configuration file. But then you can do estimate. It's going to tell you how much you're going to get for those things. And you can just sell them. There you go. Quick and easy. You can also do that with, with the signs. And then um, you could just sell all, which is going to sell all the items that you have in your inventory. Which you can just go bam, and it sold all of those, which is really cool. So I don't think we need to. And then you can do that. So now I have um, quite a bit of money there. Let's go over some of the commands. So obviously you have your sell command, which is going to open that up. You can actually do sell all and then the shop name, and then that will sell all the items. I don't have any of the items that can be sold. You can see boosters. Um, oops to see if there's any active boosters out there. Now, as you guys could probably see, some of the permission nodes associated with these commands are coming up on your screen, so keep note. So what you could do then also, boosters is really cool. There's two different types of boosters. There's one that when you assign it to a player, it's um, active for the whole server, but it's acting. it will notify everybody on the server that that player has activated the boosters. In order to be EULA compliant, you need to have that option so that players can buy boosters for everybody on the server. So you can put that in your buy craft and then it automatically puts it in there. So if we do uh, cause for Christ, uh, then the multiplier, we're going to do two and then the duration in minutes. So it's only minutes. And then uh, it says cause of crisis activated uh, 2x booster for one minute. So then you can do, if you do boosters, it's going to show you all of those and how many, how much time is remaining. And then you could do a uh, P booster, which is going to be on just for that user. Um, you've activated a 2x. So that's only for that user, which is really cool. And then we're going to do quick sell stop boosters. So we're going to stop the booster there. Now, creating a shop this is kind of what it's all about so 
you got to create different shops which will have the different items so most likely you're going to have a shop per mine so uh we've already created a and b because i was testing so uh quick shop or quick sell sorry quick sell create and then we're going to create a c let's create the c so create successfully create a new shop and then you can do quick sell edit and then the shop name so that's c and then the item so by default it fills in uh, cobblestone we can add let's add uh, dirt to it um, and sell it for 20. so now we've added dirt and then we can actually change the the price of cobblestone in there to 10 so now that's worth 10 in there and now you can see prices and then you can look at at uh, the shop prices for that shop so you can do that for any of the shops which is really nice so as you're editing it you can see what what you're doing oops that's not the one and then a so there's some stuff you can do in the config file to make that a little bit easier and a little bit quicker but before we get into that let's take a look at the signs real quick so the signs are pretty straightforward um, the cell command this is basically going to like running the cell command so people will open this up and then they drop their items in there and then they sell it and the way that you make that is really simple you just do bracket cell bracket and then that's going to create that sign now you can make that sign particular to a shop so rather than when when people run the cell command or or click on the sign it's going to give them uh, it's going to sell items to the shop uh for the highest permission node that they have so if they have permissions to a b and c and c is takes precedent over b and a then that means that when they run sell or sell all the default commands it's going to sell them directly to that shop now you can do sell and then the shop name and then it's going to specify that shop but if you're just doing the sign it's going to take the top shop that they have access to and then sell a that's going to sell them to a and then um which is you know the same thing only you're going to do sell and then you know b maybe the shop sign or the shop name now sell all is no brackets and then the, the shop name so there we go and then uh you can even specify if you only want them to be able to sell one item so you know like c we made we made dirt so we're going to put there and then it's going to sell all dirt which obviously we don't have any dirt so that's pretty easy for the shops there's there's four options for you guys a little bit of uh, uh change in there so let's hop in the config file and show you guys what that's all about okay so here we are in our server now keep in mind this does work with uh spigot 1.8.3 which i i did configure or i did build this morning it's the latest version it works with it which is awesome i love seeing that um so we're going to hop in our plugins now here's that cs core lib this is what it will download the first time that you fire up quick sell so we're going to go into quick sell now this is really cool um the messages you can modify any of the messages make them customized to your server any custom color codes or anything like that maybe you want to change the language to be your language that's great i love it when plugins do this stuff where they give this option in there so we're going to hop into the config file actually which you know you see here so uh there's a lot of great information on the author's page and i would highly recommend you check it out he explains all of these options in detail but pretty much just leave auto update on sell gui rose which i think is like three to begin with six is kind of the max if you get more than six it does have the functionality but it kind of like messes up after six so i'd recommend leaving six as the highest one um if it's locked that's the that's what's going to happen when you when you open it so rather than running the opening the cell all it's going to open the ender chest which is kind of cool this is where you can say custom prefixes maybe the uh the things that the signs that i went over you don't want those to be the thing the things that show up which is really cool if you want to change the color codes that show up all that stuff now open only shop with permission so basically if you hit that true that means that when they open the shop it'll open the highest uh permission that they have uh, rather than whatever it is that they've selected or if you have that set to false when they open the shop it'll let them choose the shop that they want to open which is kind of cool i set it to true because you kind of want to make it a little bit easier for your users all that stuff now pre-generate all items now if you set that to true when you create 
a shop it's automatically going to add all the items in there priced at zero so i don't know if that's helpful or not um maybe it is if you have a lot of stuff going on but um, i left that false now this is the enable menu line that's those glass panes that you see at the bottom of the uh chest which is kind of cool and then enable commands what enable commands does is it enables your users to be able to do the slash sell or the slash sell all maybe you want them only to be able to use the sign that's kind of cool now this is how you can set up what shows up on the scoreboard if you're using that with easy ranks light now um if it's zero you could say no multiplier if it's one this is all customized and that's what's going to show up on the scoreboard on the side of your screen when your users are doing that no time left uh, you could set all of that now uh boosters this is automatically this is set to de uh, false by default now what this means is if person is given a booster um they will uh, the same booster it will extend their time rather than multiplying the booster um now you can here's also you can run custom commands on sell which is kind of cool if you want to announce to everybody that what they're selling or um if i don't know what else you would do with it that was the example on the author's page and i can't really think of anything else um if you want to give them a special permission know when they sell the, to the, give them something else i i don't know so this is uh, the sound for um, when they're selling stuff. Now here's where the shops come into play. Now we have shops A, B, and C. And then when you create a shop, this automatically gets filled in. Cobblestone is set to zero. So the item type, that's if you don't have the permission node and they're selecting the shop, that's what's gonna show up for that shop, what it's gonna look like. Now the permission node automatically gets filled in quicksell.shop.a, so then you can kind of modify what what your users have access to. Maybe you want to make a donor shop, so it would be dot donor. Uh, you could change the name, the lore, so when they're hovering over it in the, the choices selection, it'll it'll show up. Now the amount, you can leave that at one. If you want to change it to be stacks, you know, eight, 16, 64, um, I'm not sure exactly why you'd want to do that, but you can, and what that does is it makes this divisible by that. So if you made this eight, uh, it would actually be a price of 10 per eight, if that makes sense. So uh, it would this this price changes to be instead of for each individual item, it would be for each stack or uh, all that. If that kind of makes sense. Now you can also inherit from previous shops. So maybe you want um, something in a previous shop and you want it to include in the next shop as well, but you don't want to recreate it in there. You can just inherit from the previous shop, which is super cool. And then the price of each item, as you can see there, it's just the, the formal name, uh, colon, and then the, the, the um, price now you can also put meta metadata in there so you can make it per color it'd be a different thing and then you can also put a hyphen and then the actual name of the item so only that item name it gets sold to that shop which is really cool if you really want to make it specific and then here's the list of all the shops and the order that they're in a b and c so you can modify that and then you could do quick sell reload that's all i got for the config file and that's actually pretty much all i got for the whole plugin let's hop back into the the uh the server and wrap it all up thank you for joining me this week i hope you found this helpful and i hope it helps you out with building your your uh prison server and uh shout out to you three that suggested it i know there's a lot more that wanted to see it feel free to like comment and subscribe and as always enjoy the game god bless uh -oh.